in the proposed lecture series about the preparation of national graduate physics examination by Indian Association of Physics Teachers, Sub Regional Council 08C Pune. Now, I would like to call Professor S. P. Mane, principal and is a member of IAPT uh, to speak the different activities conducted by the IAPT. Please, sir. Hello. 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 Yes. Why, sir? Just, uh, just wait, wait a minute, sir. Uh, live video has not yet started. Sandeep, which are live video? Yes, sir. We are live. Live. Okay. Uh, now start. Yes, sir. Uh, myself, Dr. Mane, who is EC member of Central IAPT from Maharashtra region. So, as an introduction, the IAPT is established in 19 under the dynamic guidance of Dr. D.P. Khandelwal and his colleagues. At present, there are more than 7,000 <coughs> members of IAPT from all over India. And all the activities of IAPT are through its uh, regional councils. There are 22 regional councils and <coughs> it covers almost all geographical area of the our country. IAPT <coughs> is playing a very key role in preparing the students for International Olympiad, Olympiads in physics, maths, astronomy, etc. And also Asian Physics Olympiad. It also conducts the national standards exam for 11th and 12th class students and a national graduate physics examination to create the awareness and interest in physics among the students who are studying in BSc classes, that is BSc 1, 2 and Three. Simultaneously, there is also a experimental wing that is called National Anveshika Network of India. Nani. It conducts the experimental <coughs> workshops and whole of the things. Simultaneously, some competitions are organized by IAPT. Those are National competition for innovative experiments in physics, national competition in innovative essay writing in physics, national competition on innovative <coughs> experiments of computers. So these are activities. Along with that, the IAPT publishes a bulletin regularly <coughs> every month, and that is its name is IAPT Bulletin. Also, there is one magazine called Prayas. It also sells or makes available extra low cost books to all the teacher community and students. So, <clears throat> it is actually working throughout the year and all, all the dignitaries or the functionaries who are there at the national level or state level, they work for this organization without any say, <coughs> remuneration. As a volunteer, they work. So this is a great achievement of IAPT. This year is the centenary year, birth centenary year of Dr. D.P. Khandelwal. And on that occasion, IAPT is organizing various activities. <coughs> so, all of you are welcome to this platform that is a lecture series organized by IAPT Savarsi 
स्टार्टिंग ऑफ दिस लेक्चर सीरीज for the preparation of national graduate examination please sir yeah uh, thank you dr kakade sir uh, today's uh, chief guest and resource person dr bp tagge sir chief examination coordinator iipt uh, dr sb mane he is the executive committee member of national executive committee member of iipt my colleague dr uh, kakade sir and all other office bearer of iipt s sub rc 08c pune uh, let me explain in very brief the basic idea behind this particular activity or lecture series as we all know that this is the saint birth centenary year of founder dr bp khandelwal uh, in his memory uh, ipsc uh, sorry iapt has decided to organize several different types of activities throughout the year as a token of that we have decided this year to start with this type of activity or a lecture series especially to make student aware about this ngp that is national graduate physics examination what is this nature of this examination how it is conducted what are the different what are the syllabus what are the types of questions etc because we found that in general the percentage of the students from maharashtra is below national average as well as performance of the students from maharashtra is also not that good some year it is good some year it is found to be very very bad and uh, to remove this lacuna because i i uh, as per our uh, opinion that this is of uh, happening because of the lack of proper guidance by experts and uh, to remove this lacuna from this year onwards we have decided we will conduct this type of series lecture series to make our students aware about this as well as we will take some theory lectures some uh, problem solving sessions etc in that concerns we have in that concern we have organized this lecture series of 5 days i am sure after 5 days if we found there is a good response from the students they are getting benefited from this particular activity in next week also or in the next month in the january 2 we are going to organize this particular series continuously at least for 20 to 25 days so it depends upon the response from the teachers so lot many teachers from all parts of maharashtra may can may contribute in this particular endeavor and they will come to uh, help to the students from all over maharashtra and thereby we will be able to work out this particular series on a large scale and that will be beneficial to all of our students so in this particular endeavor all my office bearers of this rc sub rc 08c and the rc 8 all the office bearer of rc 8 that is rc 8 maharashtra dr sb mane sir dr sindhe sir all other office bearers they all are supporting us uh, from the bottom of heart and that's why we are able to do all these activities so this is what a small background of the behind this activity that's why we are and this is how we are using this technology nowadays earlier in the last year or before one or two years this things would be would be not possible for all, for all of us but these days because of this type of technology are in now now in our hand within a fraction of second we can connect almost 100 1000 or whatever number of students so let's use this platform let's use this technology let's make aware uh, about students about all these activities and thereby work of IQ, I, iapt as well as this particular uh, popularization of physics or all other activities related to physics can be conducted very very nicely so iapt rc uh, sub rc 08c that is 
uh, organizing this entire activity for the benefits of students so with these words i i uh, end up here and once again i welcome you all all the students all the teachers uh, dr bp tagi sir dr mane sir and all my colleagues to this particular activity i hope uh, with this coming four five days you will enjoy this entire activity and it will be beneficial to you all okay thank you thank you all thank you dr uh, dr kakar sir now uh, let's go ahead thank you uh thank you kanmode sir for your uh, uh, brief idea about the ngp lecture series and now i will take this opportunity to welcome professor bp tagi and introduce him he is a chief guest and research person of today's ngp lecture series professor bp tagi was retired from the dps college dehradun in 2010 he served as associate professor and has total 42 years of teaching experience at ug and pg level in this post retirement years he has worked as executive director dean and professor in physics at drona college of management and technical education he has published more than 50 research papers in national and international level and under his able guidance almost 6 students have completed their phd he was a leader of indian team participated in ninth asian physics olympiad in 2008 held at mongolia and he has also worked as observer in 15th asian physics olympiad held at singapore in 2014 apart from this he was also worked as a vice chairman for the finance committee in international event of asian physics olympiad held at delhi new delhi in 2012 and also worked as a member of academic committee in international olympiad in association with brc and tifr and he is a member lifetime member of indian association of physics teachers as well as ipa indian physics association and he is currently working as a chief examination coordinator of iapt from lot many, uh, many years and he is always motivating us as well as all iapt members so i welcome him on behalf of iapt src 08c and i would like to request him to deliver his talk and guide our students for the preparation of ngp thank you sir please yes am i audible please yes sir yes sir yeah. yes ah uh, thank you very much thank you dr kakade and uh, dr mane ec member and the respected prince this uh, kangude the president of rc8 pune once first of all i appreciate your uh, activity which you have undertaken to to make the students aware about national graduate physics examination and to motivate a student your approach is appreciable this is very good that you thought of that the, our average is not at par with all india average and you intend to improve it i have all words of appreciation with all this now i pass on to what i have to speak about the national graduate physics examination so by my slides yes this slide is uh, visible please not yet sir it will take time it will take time to upload yes please 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 see tell me tell me when it is visible yeah kakade sir slide is not visible just not check not visible no just check please check yeah just a minute nimesh amin just a minute sir sir there is button below share ah. share sharing button is there yes 
Where to share it? विजिबल नहीं हो रही उनको उनको कैसे विजिबल होगी बाबा आप कहाँ पे लॉकडाउन है यहाँ पे हो ना शेयर स्क्रीन बटन इज देयर बिलो म्यूट स्टॉप कैम कैम बैक रखो एंड शेयर स्क्रीन नो इट्स विजिबल इज इट विजिबल नाउ Not yet, not yet. It will take time, sir. It will take time. It will take time to That's upload. Carry the right. Yeah. Yes. Started. Started. Very good. No, no. You mute. Pay. Yes. I ask. No, mute. Ask if it's visible. Yes. Yes. It is. It is visible. Visible. It is visible. The national yes. graduate physics examination. Yeah. Yeah. It's visible. Yes. uh physics education itself makes a subject for realization of some important aspects concerning students are we providing the content rightly does the student grasp it is he able to reproduce and exercise the same does he finds an interest in it of course there are many more indian association of physics teachers a voluntary organization is searching answer to all such questions via its ground level activities by interacting with the student teachers and even the would be teachers throughout the country since last so many years one of its important program is the national graduate physics examination which is conducted every year in the month of january for the undergraduate students in india in the present talk i shall highlight the salient features of this examination its uniqueness need utility and effectiveness national graduate physics examination is a national level voluntary examination it is a voluntary examination and there is no compulsion to any student for this examination it is conducted by indian association of physics teachers in india every year on the penultimate sunday on in the month of january since 1989 for the student studying physics at undergraduate level the examination aims to develop an ability of critical analysis of the physical problems and to make proper scientific judgment to ascertain and argue for various aspects and reasoning in different physical situations which a traditional university examination often does not why oh sorry by by the way by way of this examination we intend to promote good students to opt physics as their career this examination covers entire syllabi at graduate level in the country the examination centers for ngp are well spread throughout the country right from kashmir to kanyakumari and kutch to itanagar in arunachal pradesh There are about 300 centers in the entire country. We have centers almost in every major city in India, and if not, we are trying to have the same. NGP centers are in Arunachal Pradesh, Puducherry, and even in Dadar and Nagar Haveli. Nicers and Icers are ngp centers iits are center iit roorkee is a center iisc bangalore is also a center for ngp examination schedule the examination is conducted every year on third or fourth sunday of january this year on 24th january at 10 am to 1 pm the last date for enrollment at the examination at the center was extended up to 1st december 2020 unique feature of this examination the very important thing tension free examination fully voluntary in character for this examination a student has not to take any tension 
if he does good in this examination he is to gain many a things but unfortunately if he is not able to do well he there is nothing to lose there is nothing to lose minimum examination charges there is a nominal fee a very token fees for this examination it is just a token uh, in these days the examination fees is just rupees 150 for an examination at all india level it is a very small amount individuals own assessment at all india level sometimes a student in his local area suppose a student in pune university is doing very well in pune university but he is to see where does he stand at the all india level so this examination gives him a flavor of all india level what is the students what the students are doing in the country and what is the level and he gets a lot of questions of that kind which he can use to improve uh, in his studies carry away the question paper both part a and part b the complete question paper even though the question paper have multiple choice question normally multiple choice questions are not given papers are not given to the student but here the student can carry away his question paper and can prepare this one and even he can have a set of question papers and solutions of past years printed solution are provided to the center in charge for each examinee uh, after the examination we provide a printed copy for each examinee uh, a complete set of solution of the complete paper so these printed solutions the students have appreciated number of time by writing mails to me they appreciate it like anything they, that we get a model solution of the question paper the only national level examination testing students in theory and experiment here the top rankers undergo the experimental test their experimental skill is also examined so this is the only examination in india or uh, competitive type examination where even the experimental skill is tested this is a unique feature in this one single question paper for all bsc first year second year third year students with separate national merit the students of bsc first year second year third year they get a single question paper which covers the entire syllabus bsc third year students find some questions for their own course and first year second year the, the questions are spread in over the entire course and the students enjoy it we do make a separate merit for the first year students for the second year student and for the third year student past year's question papers is provided to every center registered for uh, ngpe so whenever you register for ngpe we provide the past year's question paper and its solution for for uh, students to look at and to see now eligibility the eligibility for this examination is that the students of BSc first year, second year or third year, any student who is in BSc first, second or third, whether it is a pass course, whether it is a owner's course or it is an integrated course, they are eligible for this examination. Anyone who has already passed BSc is not eligible. Many times I get calls and emails that we missed to appear when we were BSc students. We noticed it later. It came to our notice, but no, it is not allowed. Only BSc first year, second year, third year student anywhere in India are allowed for this. However, BSMS and MSc integrated students can appear for this examination when they are in their first, second, and third year only. Not beyond third year the examination fees as i have already expressed is rupees 150 only language the question paper of this examination is available in english hindi gujarati tamil telugu and telugu language 
any other language if 100 students opt for it. If suppose many times it came in Bangla. In 12th class level examination, we do provide question paper in Bangla. But here, the students from Bangla, they opt for English only. When they will opt for Bangla language, the question paper may be provided in Bangla even. The question paper contains questions from all BSc first year, second year, and third year courses. The question paper itself consists of two parts, part A and part B. Part A consists of 25 multiple choice questions, any number of options, one, two, three, or all the four may be correct. Credit is given only if all the correct options are marked. Suppose in one question, A, B, and C are correct, and a student marks only A and B, then he doesn't get any marks over here. Only he will get the marks only if all the correct options are chosen. On the other hand, uh, there is no negative marking over here. When, when your answer is correct, you will get marks. If your answer is not correct, no negative marking. Each of these multiple choice questions is of six marks and total is 25 questions, so 150 marks. Majority of questions are based on understanding and logics and not merely cramming type of questions are not there. The B part consists of two parts again. There is part B1 and part B2. Part B1 consists of 10 questions which are for short answer based on reasoning and explanations. Five to six lines only. B1, there will be 10 questions, 5 marks each, total 50 marks, and the students are to explain the basic concepts, very simple concepts, but they are attractive and uh, paying attention. One is supposed to pay attention to these questions. They are very important questions in their general life for physics. So this B1 consists of short answer questions, one way we can say, but B2, Part B2 consists of 10 problems, problem-based questions. There are problems from the entire syllabus, 10 problems based on basic understanding and logics uh, on physics are here. We do have sometimes the questions on open-ended open experiments, 10 marks each and total of 100 marks. <coughs> Certificates and awards. Top 10% at each center certificate. Students, top 10% student at each center are given a certificate saying that they are the best 10% student of this center. Top 1% at a state level, a merit certificate. The state merit is counted separately state to state and every state top 1% students are given a marriage certificate. Top 1% national level, that is national toppers. National toppers get a merit certificate plus a book prize and some more things for them. Uh, I may express here very clearly that out of the entire lot, suppose there are 14,000 students. So we choose 140 students as national toppers and we keep them away. Then we choose the state toppers. Otherwise, the same student will get the national topper and state topper. Sometimes the students ask that I am national topper, I should be state topper. So we exclude the national toppers when we are choosing up the state toppers. The state toppers are definitely next to the national toppers. National toppers are over the over the entire country, whereas the state toppers, they depend from the state to state. In some state, uh, a student may have higher marks and may not be a state topper. But in some state, a student with lesser mark may be a state topper. Further, top 25 students among the national toppers are eligible for appearing 
NGPE Part C examination. That is an examination in experimental skill where the examination experimental skill of the students is explored out for final selection of gold medal and one time scholarship of rupees 20,000. Of course, here we IAPT puts a condition that the student carries, pursues his future career in physics. Either he goes to MSc physics or takes higher course in physics. I may tell you here this year, this year because of the pandemic, it was very difficult to call these 25 students to one place and have their examination. IAPT made a team and shortlisted three important experiments. These three important experiments were performed in the laboratory and set up and then the apparatus were collected and designed. And this collected set of apparatus was sent to all 27 students were there and they were asked to decorate and to set up this experiment on their own table. And these students performed these experiments on their own table under a perfect proctoring. They were watched by teams of IAPT. IAPT, a team, three teams were made to observe different students and they were under constant watch. Under that watch, they performed the experiment. They took up all the readings and made all calculation, observation and calculation. And this all was uploaded. Okay. And this was examined and the national gold medalists were found. And we declared this was all done on 20th August 2020 when the Corona days were on peak. Okay. So this is about the ex examination in experimental skill. BSc third year students among top 25, among top 25 students of national graduate physics examination ha always have an eligibility for a direct interview for admission in post BSc integrated PhD program in physical sciences of SN Bose National Center for Basic Sciences, Kolkata. IAPT is thankful to the organization that it has given this high word to IAPT that the top 25 students will be directly called and just by a mere interview, if they want admission in SN Bose National Center, they will be given admission and every student Every student admitted to SN Bose National Center for basic sciences become eligible for a scholarship. He gets a scholarship. So here the basic condition of their eyes uh, of this institute is the only third year student among the toppers, top 25 there is first year, second year students also. So they are not eligible for it. They have to see when they will be in third year. But the, they have nowadays they have put a condition earlier it was not that the student must secure 60 percent marks at his bsc overall all selected students are eligible for a scholarship and here the two webs website and email are given if any student is interested they can make they can search the website or they can email on this Top 5 to 10 students of BSc first year appeared in NGP every year are eligible to participate in prestigious National Initiative for Undergraduate Science, NIUS program of Homi Bhabha Center for Science Education, TIFR Mumbai. This Homi Bhabha Center has started a program since last 10 years, I suppose. And uh, they are calling the BSc first year student from all over India. And they have given this opportunity to IAPT that top 5 to 10 students of BSc first year, they will go to attend. This is a 15 days course, two weeks course at Homi Bhabha, Cent Homi Bhabha Center for Science Education, Mumbai, where the students are paid their travel to and fro, third AC fair, 
and they are given free accommodation free lodging and boarding they are at mumbai to attend the course and the course is this course is quite intensive and quite the students get a very good experience to be there and these students top 25 students may also get opportunity to attend one week workshop on experimental physics organized by iapt kolkata regional council 15 and even at kanpur by iapt uh, regional council 4 uttar pradesh summer camp for bsc student uh, since last 5 years we have started another very important activity for all those students which are in bsc first year at the time of their ngp examination about 25 students last time they were taken 30 but this year 2020 because of corona this exercise could not be done top 25 to 30 students are called uh, in iit guwahati where they have a two weeks very interesting and very intensive course for these students i have seen students enjoying this course and i have seen many one with tears that they really enjoyed their life in these 15 days first it was in iit kanpur for 3 years and then another 3 years it had been in iit guwahati so this is another ex- uh experience for our bsc first year student since last one two years we have also started a program summer program for students who belong to second year uh there is bits pilani goa campus a one week course for them is uh, actually declared or provided one course had been had taken place and uh, it had been a very good course the students who are in second year at the time of ngp they attend this course and very good theoretical classes are there a few of experiment is also there but mainly this is a theory course previous 10 years question papers with solutions in the form of a booklet are available it may be obtained by depositing or transferring an amount of rupees 150 in iapt account okay just and then just by sending a request to chief coordinator the student at home will get a booklet with registered post parcel here i have just collected some data it is of course a data over here list of student who received ngp gold medal in last 16 years from 2020 to 205 this is a long list i am just presenting it to you for the first, this year in in 2020 Ma- manav beniwal of st stephens college new delhi got, got the gold medal the other was jonan fernandez from indian institute of science education and research pune aishi mukherjee from st javier's college kolkata dev uh, this dev subra chakrabarti from ramkishan mission vidya mandir belur math havda and sudeep chakrabarti from burdwan raj college burdwan you see the national national charter over here the students are spread throughout the india these five students have been declared as gold medalist of 2020 they are the recipient of a gold medal and a cash prize of or a scholarship of rupees 20 one time rupees 20000 each uh, the same way there is a list of gold 19 uh this is 18 17 16 i cannot enumerate them all over here Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, ten, and so on. This is up to two thousand five. This is the numerical figure of national graduate examination. Of course, this is lot of numerics. I will just enumerate here a few things of twenty twenty. In twenty twenty, this is here the 
number of centers in delhi were 8 and the students were 215 and uh, haryana the number of centers was 4 with 135 student punjab 16 centers 623 student chandigarh this is this is a general list you can have a look onto it up and uttarakhand this is 1690 and so on if you look at maharashtra will come over here yes this is tamil nadu mp maharashtra has gone back actually jo we can ha uh, maharashtra there were 58 centers and 1683 students please then it is for mp pondicherry tamil nadu kerala and all this so we can just summarize it the total number of student last year total centers in india were 297 and the number of student was 11637 the total enrollment the same list has been given for different years over here please this is for 9 to 5 this is in a general i had given i have presented the enrollment from 20 to 2005 in 20 we have 11637 student 19 we have 11317 72 in 18 we have 13924 so last few years we are getting this number more, more than 10000 students in the beginning 2005 we had it 5000 or so so this is just a figure this figure had been shown year wise and state wise for 20 this 19 18 17 these are the charts presenting the data to you this again can give the figure in the graphical mode jo hai different years representation uh here i have just put a picture that the i told you just the experimental skill examination we conduct the ngp part c examination an examination in extra, uh, experimental skill this examination is conducted in different parts of country in different corner uh, there we designate one college or one university as the center and we have had it in different places this year because of corona however this was done online but pk college kontai in west bengal took the lead pradipto panchadhai he made the whole thing and he worked a lot for this experimental arrangement in online examination and we could have it in 19 we had it in rajasthan university jaipur in 18 we had it in dehradun in 17 we have some vivekanand university jaipur and in 16 we had it in kolkata in 15 we have it in pilani in 14 we had bhu varanasi in 13 we had midnapur and in 12 we had it in bangalore 11 we had it in allahabad 10 we had in kolkata in lady brubhan college in 9 we had an agra college agra up in 8 we have sg gs khalsa college chandigarh in 7 we have st javier's college ahmedabad and in 2006 we have chinmaya college haridwar and 2005 we had it scottish church college kolkata so we are having one center in india to be designated as the center for ngp part c where we call the student for two days we pay their travel from their uh, normal place of their residence to that examination center and back and they are not charged any fees for this their stay is completely free their lodging and boarding all is free of cost all pays i a paid by iapt uh a request to all the members viewing this program that they should promote in their region 
the registration of at least one new center or motivate students to national graduate physics examination. For further information, this is my address. Students may contact or the teachers who want to make a center, center they may contact. Thank you, please. Thank you. Yes, please. Uh, thank you, Professor. Any, any question yeah. anybody wants to ask, please make it open. Yeah. Now, uh, the session is open for question answers. The students, those having questions, they can put in chat box, please. Uh, so there are a few questions from the chat. I would like yes. to present to you. Yeah, you can go ahead. So Cosmo Learner asks, can, can 2019 12th pass student is eligible for IISC Bangalore after qualifying KYPY SB? KYPY. Oh, I could not get. But what are you saying? IISC Bangalore is student. Please yes, repeat. Sir, the, question is, the question is displayed on the screen. The can 2019-12 past student is eligible at IISC Bangalore after qualifying KVPY SB? That is the question. Yes, yes, yes. He is eligible. Okay. Another question. Yes. Can, can FIBC aspirants give IOQ Olympiads? That is question. No, first year BSc aspirant cannot are not allowed for Olympiad. Actually, okay. in this talk, I have not talked about Olympiad program because it is for the college students, and college students are not allowed for Olympiad program. There is a age limit as well as <coughs> in the Olympiad program, this is a prerequisite and a condition that any student who have entered in the university curriculum is not allowed for Olympiad program. Okay. Yes, Vivek, next, please. Yes, sir, this yes, please. is the next. Is, is this fees, fees of previous? Yes, yes, it is same 150 rupees each. Past 10 year papers and their solution in the form of a booklet. It is just on the uh, cost basis, actually. This is no profit, no loss in it. No profit. So there is a question from Archana. She is asking that how should we prepare for NGP? Actually, preparation of NGP is nothing. If you sincerely attend your classes, you sincerely study your course. This is a normal subject, normal thing. We don't expect anything extraordinary over here. Only thing is you should know your subject. Whatever commonly known among the students that is asked in this examination. But this is at all India level and we ask general question. There are some specific topic maybe in some universities course. We generally avoid that type of thing. We take up the questions from the courses which are for all the universities in general. The next question is from Rohit Singh. He is asking that are the questions uh, coming in NGP? IIT JAM. The level of IIT JAM. IIT JAM. Actually, I don't want to comment anything on it, whatever the questions are. But many students have written to me that appearing for NGP for all the three years have been very comfortable for us to qualify for JAM. And a few of his students who have got very good positions, they have been selected for TIFR and all that. They have written to me that please never stop this examination. It is very good for us. It is eye opener and we get a very good uh, line and uh, very good strength by doing this examination. A good number of students have approached. I may tell you just it is a story. About uh, six, seven years back, there was a student in Hyderabad. And talking like this, he came down to Dehradun and I want to see Professor Tyagi and want to pass a day with him. So he came to me and was wode with me and he was appreciating like anything. This NGP had been a boon for me. Anyway, 
Okay. Nine questions that can abroad MS doing aspirant have eligibility to get scholarship from IAPT? No, it is for Indian students only. Yeah. Okay. Those Indian students studying at graduate level. Next, Anu Krishnan is asking that is there any official syllabus to know the specific topics required to Actually, prepare? Actually, so far, so far we have not prescribed any syllabus in NGPE. But uh, many people ask this question, so I am thinking to make it by the next year's examination that we will put up a syllabus. But we are going to take it as if the students of all Indian universities feel it at par. Yes. As such, the general BSc syllabus, what you are studying in BSc, that your awareness in that is the syllabus for this. Right. Whatever the students are studying till UG level, they can. Yes, yes. It. Is the syllabus yes. of NCERT? NCERT syllabus is for school level. NCERT is for school level. Not that is not the syllabus for this one. You right. can look at the UGC syllabus. But that UGC syllabus is. Too vast and so many allied subjects are there. It is in general the physics course which is expected by UGC that is covered under this examination. Okay. So, there are already questions left. Okay. So, sir, all questions are covered. So, I would like to express uh, thanks to you. Since, uh, First of all, I day. express my thanks for all the students who have taken so interest in this one. And uh, I'm sure NGP will be a good way for them to proceed in the life and they will go for physics as their career. So very enthusiastic talk and student understood that how to do the proper plan. What kind of questions will be there in examinations yes. since you have elaborated the things that uh, the questions are based on their IQs, their on UGC levels, their difficulty level, as well as you also explain the fee structure and the different opportunities the student can gain through the IAPT examinations. So uh, very enthusiastic and uh, elaborated talk. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for accepting the invitation. Now, on behalf of this IAPT RC08C, I would like to uh, give some condolence to Professor Dharkar. Uh, this we have received with a big shock and grief on December 8th. Yes, the sad yes, news of the student demises of Professor R.M. Dharkar, a senior respected member of IAPT family at his residence in Pune. Professor Dharkar devoted his full life to IAPT and worked with the JIL and JIST for the voluntary examinations. In those days, when conducting exams and evaluations, he continued to provide encouragement in the Olympiad programs actively and also worked as a leading member of our finance committee, providing a valuable guidance always. We also last saw him online in the EC and the other meetings, actually. So, Professor Dharkar is from Pune and we actually give him big condolence on behalf of IAPT SRC08C Pune. So now right now I would like to take this opportunity to thanks to everyone, especially the executive council member, principal uh, SB Mane sir, then the president of IAPT SRC08C Professor Tangude sir, and the different IAPT Maharashtra Regional Council members, uh, like the large sir, president of IAPT Maharashtra region, Professor Shinde, secretary of Maharashtra region, and all other active members of our committees of RC08 and SRC08C Pune. I would, I would like to thank to all of them, as well as I would like to thanks to all students, those are participating and taking a benefit for the preparation of NGP from this talk. So uh, I can uh, stop here. So thanks to all of you. Dr. Sir, make one announcement. Tomorrow uh, onwards, lectures will be start at 6 o'clock. Yes. I, so I, the series, the series so will be continued. I too will like to express two words for Professor Dharkar. Yeah, yeah. Professor Dharkar had yeah. been no problem, had please. been a 
had been an inspiration for all of us. I had been very closely associated with him, working for the examination. You know, this examination work was largely started by Professor Tarkar when he was in Mumbai and later shifted in Pune. I had been very closely associated with this since last more than 25 years. And it is a big loss to IAPT. There is no compensation. We cannot compensate it. I express my deep condolence in the, to Professor Dharkar. Thank you, please. Yeah, sir. Now, when the Professor Kangode have to say something, please, sir. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow onwards, we are using different platform, Google Meet. So links have already been provided in the brochure. So go to that particular link and join for the remaining four days. Uh, today onwards, we are going to take exclusive lectures actually special topics on each and every different uh, important topics from the examination point of view uh, we can go for some questions too so what are the different types of questions so what are the different types of questions that are asked in previous examination how to solve them what would be the answer what are the way of what is should be the way of thinking etc this type of tips making or how to go for a good solutions of this type of questions these type of aspects will be covered from tomorrow onwards so my request to all the students those who participated today as well as their staff members and their their uh, colleagues please join to the remaining lectures for remaining four days and once this particular entire activity is found to be successful we are going to continue this uh, activity for more days as long as uh, speakers are available and students are uh, uh, ready to join all these activities. So with these words, I say thank you. Thank you all. And here we finish today's session. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, sir. So uh, once again, thanks to all. And as per the guidance, as per the guidelines provided by the president, Professor Parat Kanmude, from the tomorrow onwards, the actual uh, preparation kind of things will be started and so i will request to all of you to attend the series uh, all lectures in that in this particular series so thanks a lot thank you very much thank you thank you let's let's stop